Are there any veteran free agents that you could see the Cowboys signing at this point in the offseason? Not really at this point. Roster cuts. That's when the, the moves will happen. There, there will be, I am sure, a player or two that the Cowboys bring in once their roster cuts are made. They'll adjust that, you know, that 48 to 53 range, that 40 to 53 range, and bring in somebody new, somebody old. So not right now, but there will be some changes by the Dallas Cowboys. Again here from Jordan, what is the extension for Jalen Smith worth? Why can't the triplets be less greedy? Well, we'll find out what the extension is, I'm sure, in the near future. I don't yet know what that extension is, what the contract details are. But think about it this way. It's not a coincidence the Cowboys are signing Jalen Smith first. I am very confident that this deal is going to come in as a team-friendly contract. And at that point, it's going to be, Zeke, Amari, Dak, look, we are willing to, t to pay you. You just got to take less money. That's all you have to do. So just take less money there and we'll get you paid. That's all you guys have to do there in the end. So I think this is a message here from the Cowboys front office to the triplets of, hey, we'll pay. You just got to meet us halfway. Here's the super chat from Mark there. It says, Aloha, T. Pro football focus said Dax number 28 in average depth of throw. This is how far the ball is thrown without the yards against against the – sorry, I misread that. Without yards after the catch. 22nd in passing and scoring is not 35 to 40 million. I have the air yards numbers. I'll double-check them tonight, Mark, and I'll put this in the, in the comments of this video. Um, I don't know if it's 28, but I know air yards has it in that general range. I think he's a little bit higher, but, you know, 28, 24, 20, it's all about the same there overall. So – you're right. He's not worth $40 million. I don't think he's worth 35 either. So I think we're on the same page there, Mark. I just yeah, ask for the world to come back down. But no, I'm not paying I'm not paying Dak $40 million. That's just, that's insane. All right, M. Hightower. Are the Eagles preseason quarterback injuries foreshadowing the outcome of their season? Uh, I don't want to wish injuries upon anybody. Although, in general, typically you get the injuries out of the way, right? Or is that, maybe that's just a made-up thing that I made up on the spot here. So I'm not going to pretend to say, oh, the Eagles quarterbacks got hurt, therefore they're all going to get hurt. I, I wouldn't read too much into it unless there's some sort of like black magic voodoo in which Chris Carson Wentz are going to stay healthy if all the other quarterbacks also got hurt in the process, which I mean, I guess it's possible. All right, Anthony, do you think all three will be there week one? I assume that the triplets of Dak and Zeke and Amari – I think so. Um, you know, I, I don't feel that confident about Zeke, quite frankly, but I don't think he's going to miss game checks, right? That's a lot of money to miss out on. So I, I I think I'm not overly confident, but if I have to pick one, yes, I think that Dak, Zeke, and Amari will all be there come week one. All right, Leak the Geek, does the cap go up enough to sign all of our top guys? Knowing that as of this exact second, I do not know what the exact contract details look like for Jalen Smith, but the answer is yes. The Cowboys can afford to re-sign if they want. Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, Jalen Smith, Byron Jones, Zeke Elliott. The cap goes up $10 million each year, and you've got like 75 plus next year, more if you cut certain players. Of course, you cannot sign everybody, but you can re-sign your top Guys, the cap is flexible, it is malleable, and on a micro level, frankly, it doesn't even exist. All right, guys, if you want more Cowboys coverage, I'm talking news, rumors, highlights, fan-led content like this mailbag, make sure you are subscribed to us here at the Cowboys Board. The link is below, but you're watching YouTube, so just hit that big red button. All right, from David, do you think Amari and Dak and Zeke discuss ideas on how to get everybody paid? I do not. I think that players, and I think they should take this approach in general, are of the mindset, it's not my job to make sure that so-and-so gets paid. That's your job, front office. So, no, I don't think that they are eyeing each other's pockets saying, okay, here's how we can do this and make sure everyone gets paid in the end. All right, Matthew Castro, do you think we will see Taron Christian get some playing time next game? That he got 
some quarterback three reps means there is a chance that they're at least considering it. I, But unless the Cowboys want to punt on the rehearsal game, I don't know. You're going to see Dak Prescott a lot in week three, I, I think at least relative to one drive of week one and week two. Week four, though, that I think is the best chance for Christian to get some actual reps at the quarterback spot. John Parker wants to know, no, wow, why haven't we signed Matt Bryant? Don't know. Um, I I don't know. Like, bring him in. Compete with, with, with Brett Maher at, at minimum, or somebody to compete with, with, with Brett Maher. Because Casey Redfern clearly is not realistic competition. Like, that's not the guy that they signed to bring in to, you know, usurp Brett Maher. So I just, I don't know. Wish I did there. All right, from Nick here. I'll cut out the rest of it because I'll just botch it. Will Byron Jones miss real games? More so than I've ever felt before, I think there is a real chance of it. He is not off the PUP list. Frankly, I kind of thought he was going to be the first one off that list based on the early reports coming out pre-training camp. That's clearly not the case right now. I don't think he misses much time if he does. And the good news is you have Jordan Lewis and Anthony Brown and Cheeto to be your top three corners. And heck, you got Donovan Olubo who's played pretty well as well. So I am not worried on that front overall about the cornerback spot. Plus, the Giants have no good receivers with Shepard hurt and Golden Tate suspended. So I'm not panicking, but there is a real chance there that Byron Jones does miss games. Maybe it's, maybe it's only week one, but there is at least the possibility that Jones misses real games for the Cowboys. Evan Rosales, what's your Zeke trade package? By the way, can you tell Mitchell the Cowboys are better than the Raiders? Hey, Mitch, he's literally not paying attention. His AirPods are in. Real life meme here. Mitch, hey, the Cowboys are better than the Oakland Raiders are. <laughs> he said a swear. Uh, in terms of the, the Zeke trade package, um, I don't think the timing's right. Uh, you, you could get a first-round pick back. I would rather wait till the offseason, play hardball right now, and maximize your value in the long run. All right, giveaway for you guys from our friends over at MyBookie. Do you want a Cowboy jersey? Maybe the newly extended Jalen Smith jersey. Here's how you get it. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys. Promo code is GOCOWBOYS for a 100% deposit bonus. You put down 50 bucks, they'll match it. And email us, promo at Chatsports.com. Get you guys hooked up with a Cowboys jersey of your choice. CGP 2003, will L. Collins be dealt anytime soon? I don't think so. Biggest reason why, you've got injuries with Tyron Smith and Zach Martin. You can't 100% count on them if it is. You count on them 90%. Can't count on them. And the reason you would trade Collins is to move Connor Williams to right tackle and then Connor McGovern to left guard. Problem is, McGovern is not healthy. So your sixth best offensive lineman is hurt. Therefore, you should not trade away your fourth slash fifth best. That's not the best idea for the Cowboys. All right, Allen, will there be more pro bowlers on offense or defense? All right, let me think here. Demarcus, LVE, Jalen, Xavier Woods. That, there you go. Maybe Byron Jones. Offense, oh, the offensive line, though, if they're all healthy. I'll go offense, but it's going to be close there. A lot of it depends on the health of some of those offensive linemen. Neil Patel, you mentioned this before, but how is Jalen Smith viewed in the locker room? Does he have enough clout to convince the triplets and Byron to take team-friendly deals? I don't know if he can convince them to take a team-friendly contract. That might be a little bit too much, but everybody loves Jalen, guys. Oh, it's a great show idea. Someone pitched that to him. Um... But everyone likes Jalen Smith. He's a fantastic story. He's a great leader. You can tell by the way he's, he interacts with players on the field how they feel about him. Like, I don't think he can convince Dak to take like $5 million less necessarily. But I do think Jalen getting extended does help out the idea of, hey, Dak, Zeke, Amari, the, the deals are out there. You just got to be willing to take a little bit less. All right, guys, I know we did not get to every question. I am sorry. I apologize for that. It's the nature of it. If we didn't get your questions, tweet me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage 
on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.